Excuse my work clothes. Anyway, I want to talk about um, how not to get angry and feel hurt about what things the people do and don't do and what they say to you, even if they've been doing the same thing for years. Okay. Instead of getting angry, analyze the situation and bring to mind everything you know about that person. Did they have uh, terrible traumas in their, in their life? This affects somebody. It affects some people their entire life. Did they have such dramatic things happen to them that they get stuck in the age they were in when it happened? Um, was somebody abused when they were nine years old? Do they act like a nine-year-old the rest of their life? It's possible. I've seen it. Um, if somebody if somebody's cursing, uh, sometimes I tell them what I'm thinking. For instance, if they're using the F word a lot, um, I'm remembering the stages of childhood. There's the oral stage, the genital uh, stage, the anal stage. You know, are they stuck in one of those stages? It's possible. This is a psychological thing. They can't help it. But if they're aware of it, maybe they can work on it. So someone's using the F word a lot. I'm thinking they're stuck in the, in the, uh, the genital phase of childhood. If they're using words that have to do with uh, human waste, solid waste, manure, you know, the SH, uh, et cetera word, they're stuck in the anal phase of childhood. If they keep using um, words uh, relating to uh, our, uh, our buttocks, same thing, anal stage of childhood. What about if they keep using the word um, S-U-C-K, which somebody turned into a curse word, if they keep doing that, are they stuck in the oral phase of childhood? I don't know. Um, it's pretty easy, once you get accustomed to it, to replace your, your anger or hurt with sympathy for the other person, to feel sorry for them because they're clueless, because they can't help it. Can I help the way I am? Whatever my characteristics are that might annoy some people, Probably not. Um, the thing is, think about everything, analyze everything, and uh, don't, don't react because it's so easy to become addicted to the adrenaline that anger causes in our bodies. You know, uh, our bodies, which is uh, our partner in life, it's always there. Uh, it's not meant to control us. We control the body. And once you get uh, addicted to the, the power and, and the excitement of being angry, you know, it's, it's just natural that you want to feel that way in control instead of the one who's being hurt, which is, you know, sadness and, and depression and, and lack of energy and all that. But you don't want to be one of those angry people that are, are hurting others. Uh, you're probably hurting yourself more. And I've been, I've been searching for years for the statistics on people uh, who, who uh, are involved in domestic abuse. And it's extremely rare to ever be cured of that habit of abusing others. Because it's such an addictive way of thinking and acting. So, and that's why I can't find any statistics like, for example, how many people, what percentage of people actually stop being that way, you know, uh, in the habit of uh, power and control. Anyway, um, if the Almighty doesn't even 
interfere with our free will. We shouldn't interfere with others. You know, don't get angry at other people. They're supposed to be free to do what they want and, you know, face the consequences. That's just some thoughts for today. And uh, I better get back to my chores.